Hello YouTube streets, I am Zaba, a controversial intellectual that likes to get down to the bottom of that T. Do I ruffle feathers? Do I cause a problem sometimes? Am I willing to go down to the bottom of the barrel to get that T? <laughs> Hell yes. All in all, I am Zaba, and I said that. Hi everyone, I am Zaba and welcome to my channel. I'm going to try to tell the story about my second round BBL that I have with Dr. Salgado with Body by Doctors. How I came to know about Body by Doctors, my friend actually was going over there to get herself a round two BBL. She snuck and did it, girl. I was mad at you for that. But she showed me her results when she came up off the table. I was like, wow, we had always talked about going to go get round two BBLs. I saw that she went ahead and did it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to start doing my research. I saw a promotion that they had on Instagram and I saw the beautiful pictures, the dolls. You can't help but to see the work and you're going to just do further research and you're going to do more about it and do more with that situation. So do more I did. I looked up Dr. Salgado. I actually was going to another doctor at first, but then a situation happened where it was a money situation where he actually went behind Body by Doctor's back and he took the money, stole money from me, and I never got my surgery with him nor my $1,000 back. Dr. Moreno, when he was actually working with them, subsequently he got fired. Everything went well for me when I got my round two. So I did fly in. I flew to San Antonio and then I took the longest bus ride ever from there to Brownsville or was it Brownsville that I took it to? Yeah, I took it to Brownsville. We checked into the Holiday Inn Express a little side review about that Holiday Inn. I did not really care for that Holiday Inn Express. I'm a little bit of a clip of me being there, me being excited. I was excited about my surgery, was so unexcited about the actual hotel. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get ready, it's time to get ready, it's time. I'm hoping that my spirit of anxiety right now is really my, the universe telling me that I'm going to be first and I'm going to be in and out um, with my great results. So um, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm here currently in Brownsville at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. Um, I haven't made my way to Matamoros yet. I'm going to leave in a few hours. The hotel at no fault of theirs had floods and you could smell, you know that smell when things are wet and you know, it smelled like wet carpet in my room and I did not like that, but it was the only place where I can get a room late at night with priority club points. I had plenty of priority clubs. Everybody knows I'm a die hard IHG hotel guy. You know, I'm always gonna be staying with them whenever I can. In the morning, I take a taxi, which was the most expensive taxi ride just to ride over the border from Brownsville to Matamoros. But I got there and then I checked in to the Holiday Inn in Matamoros. And I'm gonna insert right here a couple of different clips of the lovely suite that I stayed in there. Zabas, review of Holiday Inn Matamoros. Holiday Inn Matamoros is one of the most conveniently located hotels in Matamoros, only minutes away from the clinic where you will have your surgery. Among the many great amenities Holiday Inn Matamoros has to offer is Agave Restaurant, which is a full service 24 hour restaurant offered by the hotel. Here you can find your favorites, healthy items, and many things that will prepare you for your surgery. There is also a bar so your guests can find some time to unwind themselves. Guests will also have full access to the indoor heated pool and jacuzzi just in case you or your family members want to take a splash. There is also an on-site gym that is 24 hours and guests also have full access. In every room, you'll find a mini fridge, you will also have a coffee maker and complimentary water.
for my dolls that are concerned about security, there are 40 cameras on site as well as 15 security guards. comfortable perfect for me i love that place and next time i go there i will definitely be staying there period point blank i get to the surgery center it was unlike my surgery in miami i got straight into it they brought me in went over my lab work that i had done in atlanta at the va medical hospital checked my blood pressure they were like what is your goal I met dr salgado he marked me up he told me what he can do and he did it. I did local anesthesia for the first time ever. I remember myself coming in and out of consciousness and I remember feeling some pain. It was some pain, but not nearly as much pain as you would imagine. You know, you are being liposucted. You know, they are taking fat out and it's scraping up against your insides of your skin. It does hurt a little bit. So I would recommend that if you can't take that to go ahead and get general anesthesia so that you can be completely dead to the world. But I actually kind of preferred the local anesthesia. It just felt more, I don't know, you feel like you're there so you don't have to feel as scared. So I come out of surgery, they are walking me in there and I look back, move my gown a little bit just to check back there to see. And I was like, okay, yes, I was happy. And I laid right down care of me at Dr. Salgado's facility. It was clean, constantly had nurses coming in every, at least every hour, if not every 30 minutes, they were coming in, checking on me, making sure that I was okay. It was the first time that I ever did a BBL without drains. I would have thought that I wouldn't have liked that, but I actually did. I prefer now to do it without the drain. Once you stop bleeding, that's it. You don't have to worry about taking anything. Now you don't bleed that much. There's all types of things that you use to keep yourself from bleeding excessively. Make sure that you bring whatever they recommend. Ask the doctor. The people that book your surgery, they will generally tell you a list of things that you should bring. Also, they'll give you some recommendations as far as care nurses, transportation, all of those things were provided to me. I was actually booked by the owner of the booking company, Body by Doctors, Ashley. She actually looked out for me a lot because she felt really bad about the experience that I had with her former doctor, Dr. Moreno, and how he scammed me out of $1,000. I have to deal with that. And it's really annoying that somebody would with so much money they claim would take money from you. She felt bad and she put in a additional for me to get HD abs and she gave me one of the best surgeons that they have, which is Dr. Salgado. I say that he's the best. I wouldn't go anywhere else but Dr. Salgado if you're getting a BBL with Body by Doctor. I really loved that doctor. He was really kind. I could ask him questions. He was very direct and firm in everything that he was able to achieve with me. And every single thing that I asked for, he gave to me. Um, the HD abs, it looks great. And I remember after my tummy tuck, if you guys haven't seen already, I'll leave it in the description box, the video from my tummy tuck. You can see the results where he went in and he changed the way that my stomach looked after my tummy tuck because I wanted to have high definition liposuction after my tummy tuck because it was promised to me, but I actually woke up and it wasn't done. No shade, but it didn't happen. He didn't offer that. So I knew then that I was going to go in for another round of liposuction to get the HD app that I have now and that I want it then. So I have it now. Dr. Salgado and his staff members were really kind, really courteous. They took good care of me. I had no fears at all. Mind you guys, I went to Mexico by myself. I didn't bring my sister this time because I felt that I had done so well with my Miami round one. I could do it on my own this time with a nurse, a part-time nurse that would come in. She would come once a day and she would do my massages. I'm gonna insert the massage video right here so that you guys know what I'm talking about. she did was totally different 
totally different than what they were doing in Miami. I feel like in Miami, they weren't really, they were like doing a gentle massage. It wasn't really getting the fluids off of me. So I stayed swollen a lot longer than I probably had to. She was just awesome. She came once a day and she would actually press all of the fluids and it had my stomach flat and snatched. And then they would also put the, um, the foam tubes to make sure that my HD app stayed in order and they would help me in and out of my Faja and anything else that I needed like tacos. She told me, she's like, I know the best place for tacos because we have the best tacos here in Mexico. And I'm like, girl, I know y'all do. I know y'all better. It's Mexico. So she told me about San Francisco tacos and she went one step even further. She brought it back to me. And I was like, oh. My nurse brought me San Francisco's tacos. Let me just open this up so you can see. And they put the sauce in a little, a little druggy bag. And you just do it like this. A little drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. It's a big fucking beastie fucking taco. Matter of fact, let me put a little more sauce. Because you know I'm going to take a bite. A small bite. really good um eating pineapples every day i had a big huge it was a 10 gallon bottle i ordered i didn't know it was that big. i was there for a total of 13 days 13 or 14 days i was there for a while because i initially had signed up to be there for five days and i stayed longer because i just wanted to keep getting massages and i recommend that you do that another thing that i recommend is that you bring somebody with you even if you feel like you don't need anybody's help i had an extra bed my sister could have been there it would have been no problem. So I think that would have been a good idea to have somebody with you just in case, because you never know when things might go wrong. So have somebody with you if you can. You know, if you have no option, I am living testimony that you can make it on your own. You can do surgery alone. But if you have somebody that's willing to go with you, just have them go with you. Just let them go. Ciao. I did all of my follow-up appointments. He made sure that everything was good with me. Everything was looking great. I took videos, posted to the group on Body by Doctors, how happy and excited that I was. I stayed in tune with everybody. I was even going live, child. Was going live, letting people know that my surgery went well and I was happy and everything was all well and copacetic. I can say my experience from the hotel, from the transportation, from my nurses, my overall experience was awesome. I can't complain at all. Like to this day, I still love the way my stomach looks. Thank you so much, Dr. Salgado. You did that for me. And thank you so much to Karen, my nurse, because you were so kind. You were so professional, courteous. You were always on time. You were never late. You you worked hard. And, and when you found out that I did not need any additional days, you refunded my money back right then and there. So as far as the people that go out there to say that this company is a scam and that they're rude, unprofessional, and all of those different things that I've heard on the internet, I just want to say that my experience, I'm not taking away from yours. Don't throw shade at me now. Don't kill me now. I'm not taking from your experience. But I have to say that my experience was overall relatively well and um, I would definitely go back to Dr. Salgado specifically. And sometimes you can, like I could have walked away and I could have been jaded by the fact that that man, Dr. Moreno stole my money from me, but Ashley tried her best to accommodate me. And she tried her best to make sure that I didn't leave out of the situation feeling like I was robbed. And I have nothing but an infinite amount of gratitude for that. And thank you so much for that, Ashley. Shout out to you because I owe my second round BBL and my HD apps to you guys. And you guys really did do well by me, taught me a lot, did a lot for me. I was even happy for the time that I was actually doing some coordinating. I like that. Um, and I appreciate everything that I experienced and I'm happy with it. I'm going to leave a little video here to let you guys see my round one and my round two. So check it out right here. snatched y'all i'm so happy with the way that my body came out i healed well without complications everything was fine if this is your first time seeing me and watching my videos please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe like this video and even share it and if you're considering getting a bbl and you may have some questions about the bbl process the blood work or what you should be bringing with you you can leave the comments down below 
Also, let me know what you think about this video, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye, you guys.